What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about the release of the blacked out trim roundels that we are doing with American Panda Design. We got Andres that F30 coming over. We're going to install these on his car, show you guys the difference, show you how to install them. And if you're interested in buying a set, you will be able to get them this Saturday, January 1st at 10 a.m. Eastern. The website linked below, AmericanPandaDesign.com. These are a very subtle difference, nothing too crazy. Here's the OEM one, and here is the blacked out one. The outer ring is now blacked out. In order to make this happen, we actually sand these all the way down, and then we have a vinyl printed template that we put on top of the badge, which allows us to paint just the outer ring with black, and then we re-clear coat the entire roundel. We do, in fact, use OEM roundels. These are the two part numbers for the front and back, for F-Series, these are all OEM. As far as fitment goes, these are mainly for the F-Series BMWs. Now, can you make them fit other BMWs? Probably, but for the time being, we don't wanna market these for other cars when we don't know for sure if they'll fit and they will be sold individually. So if you wanna try and take like, you know, two of the smaller ones and make them work on your car, you might be able to do that, but we are simply just marketing these for the F-Series for now. In the future, we will be having customizable features like we're gonna be able to black out the two blue marks. We're gonna be able to do carbon fiber where the blue marks are. We're gonna be able to do custom paint matching. If you have like a wrap or something, we are gonna be able to match that. We'll have all of that stuff in the near future, but for now, we're just focusing on these simple blacked out trim roundels, which in my opinion are my favorite. They're just like the cleanest. But Andres just pulled up with his F30. Let's get these installed. Cleanest mineral gray F30 in the land. Do you agree? This thing's beautiful, man. Sheesh. Oh, and the new lip. Wow, it looks good. Hey guys, on respect, guys. We've got his mineral gray F30 here in the garage and we are gonna be putting on the badges. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to actually take off the old badges and put on the new ones. So the front is actually just held on by adhesive. You can see the old adhesive here. And the way that I like to do it is use a, this is 30 pound fishing line. So yeah, we like to use the fishing line for the front and the back to peel it off. But when you do this, just make sure that once you put it behind the emblem, you're pulling up on the string and down and work your way through. You don't want that fishing line to hit the edge of the paint and mar it. And then you just basically work all your way down through the badge and then pull it off. You will have residue of 3M underneath here that you're gonna have to pull off. There's a couple of different ways you can do that. Be very careful, but you can use a plastic razor blade or you can simply just use isopropyl and a rag and just get off the excess. Maybe a little bit of heat too could help. But once you do that, it's as simple as throwing on the new ones. There are two little guide points. The bumper will have dimples that fall into these guide points just so it knows that it's perfectly upright and set straight. And other than that, it's uh, pretty simple. So we will let the man here get after it. You wanna start with this. So while he's doing this, he's gonna work behind the, the badge here and just remember to pull up while you do it. You'll see that the new ones that come in when you guys order them, they do come in the actual like OEM bag with the part numbers and everything. And then it has the 3M already on the back. Like we said, this is a brand new badge from BMW that is sanded down. And then we put our templates on and we paint them them and we re-clear coat them. So it's like having a factory OEM batch. These are pretty simple to get off. He's gonna work the upper side and the bottom side until it lifts. And then you could also use like a trim tool to help speed up the process if you need to. Just make sure if you're using a trim tool to put a rag underneath the tool by where the um, bumper is, the paint is, so you don't scratch it. And then we'll just lift it right off. So on his, you can see the tape came right up, which is like ideal, but he is a pretty, this is a freshly painted um, bumper. So you can see the little guide points right here, but that 3M just came right off because of how new it was. So that makes our life extremely easy. So after you get all of the 3M off, why don't we hit it with some isopropyl and then the rag, just to make sure that the contact is super clean. More than likely, you guys are gonna have a bunch of adhesive there. Make sure you get off the adhesive before you put on a new badge. It will not adhere as well if you don't do that. Nice and clean, just like that. That's how you want it. Take that new badge. There you go, simple man. Freaking easy, you make it look so easy, buddy. Like a pro. And there you go. Pretty simple, man. Look you know how good that looks. So yes, it is a subtle difference. It's not like the biggest difference in the world, but 
honestly, things like that, um, I don't know why they please me the most when they're like, there's the, the tiny, tiny differences. But uh, yeah, you can definitely, definitely tell a difference and it looks very, very good on these cars. Let's go ahead and move over to the back one and we'll show you the process for that. So the back is a little bit easier. You just have these two little plastic pins. Your OEM factory one shouldn't have adhesive on it, but it might, just depends on who put it on last. If BMW did it, it's not gonna have adhesive and it's actually really easy to take off. So we'll use a little bit of fishing line, tuck it behind there, pull out, and it's it's just gonna come right off. If you guys need a little bit more leverage, you can also use you know, a trim tool or something like that. Bam, so easy. So now we'll just go ahead and literally take the new one, line it up with these holes right here. Bam, and bam, and just slide it in. And it should be super snug. If you guys wanna put adhesive on it, I'm sure you can, but I don't think it's necessary. And once you have it on, it is on, and it's not going anywhere. Oof. Gates on the mineral gray, man. Looks so good. Damn, bro. They look so good. So simple. But such a big difference. All right, so there you guys go. That is the new badge setup that we are doing from American Panda Design. Like I said, those are gonna be available this Saturday. This Saturday, January 1st at 10 a.m. Eastern at AmericanPandaDesign.com. I'll have it linked down below. We only have a limited quantity available of these. We are in the process of getting more of these badges, but for this initial sale, we only have 50 fronts and 50 backs. So if you've ever wanted a set, make sure you guys act fast. So like I said, you guys, we are gonna have more customizable features available in the future. Right now, we are just focusing on the blacked out trim version. These are definitely not cheap to make. They do take a little bit of time as well. So you have to factor in the labor and just the amount that the OEM badges cost. This isn't something that we just like slap together and use parts from China. We do all of the work in house to actually make these happen. So if you guys are interested, make sure you're ready this Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern American Panda Design. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. See you in the next one. Peace. Sheesh.